There comes a point in your life when you need something, something to tell you that it's okay to try again, something to tell you it's okay to be happy, something to tell you that you are worth everything. Today was the day that I needed it all. And that's when I found that my most loving teachers of MBBS were already cheering for me from the past. Good morning guys. And what do you think of 2018 batch? 2018 batch? It was naughty as well as equally sincere. It a very nice batch. Very nice batch. Very sincere students. Did not bang even for a single day. And very active. Compared to other batches, they are more sincere. This was the most uh, sincere batch in the recent times. All the best for your future. Best of luck for the future. And I hope you are doing very well in your future. All the best. All the best for your future. I wish them the best luck for their future. So all the best for their future. Thank you. Listening to it all, it made me realize how far I have come. Everything that I have gotten through, all the times that I had to push on even when I felt I couldn't, all the mornings that I got out of bed even though it was so so hard, all the times I wanted to give up but I went on for another day. I remembered all the strength that I had and I started yet again. Today's subject that I started with is psychiatry and in the first few pages of psychiatry, Dr. Sajin sir is spitting facts. He says, if you are having a performance decline, you cannot improve your IQ. You need to improve your attention. Furthermore, he adds, MBBS mein aane wala har chhatra ya fir chhatra ki normal buddhi hoti hai. Kyaunki agar buddhi kam hai, to MBBS tak pochta hi nahi. Aur agar buddhi zyada hai, to aisi karti karta hi nahi. So, all my stupid, intelligent, dumb friends, आगे पढ़ते हैं. The syllabus is insane, and I hate every minute of studying. So, I want to start slow, and gradually lean into consistency rather than changing my entire routine. It's okay to start wherever and whenever you feel ready. Please don't compare yourself to the highlight reel of people on social media. I promise, it's never too late to work on your goals. Take it one step at a time. My main concern is to avoid burnout and take rest. So, I started slow. While writing all this gibberish, a spark of idea came in my mind. Why not make mind maps of psychiatry as well? If I can finish this 20 page, mein finish kar saku, the next revision will be easier. And that's what I'm going to do. around i guess 20 pages in a single sheet of paper so my map seems to be working let's keep at it so it's the most sleepiest section of the day right after lunch let's start part two of the study session from Antipsychotics. Today's day two of my internship in radiotherapy department, and things are going pretty well. The duty is from around nine to two o'clock, I guess. And all I have to do is administer the colony stimulating factors, intravenous catheter and do other things that the JRs tell me. I think it's a light posting and thoda thoda padai bhi ho raha hai. 
I tried reading ortho, tried making doodles, tried learning a little bit more about it. And today, with the interns back with me, I am going to do medicine. Hoping for a good day ahead, but after taking a break from internship, restarting it again is a pain in the head. Let's do our best. Around 6.30 in the evening, after the posting, I went to sleep for like 2-2.5 two, two hours. I think it's okay, right? As long as I study ahead at night. So, good morning for the study session. Let's get working. Today's menu for the study is finishing the medicine that I started in the posting of radiotherapy. I reached till Parkinson's disease and basically <laughs> pura medicine CNS baki hai and uske baad endocrine next target is our little cartoon from morning let's finish ortho which is about half left so these two are my targets after that I plan to start test and discussion dams TND so that I get a better idea of the subject and that's pretty much all in my plate. Let's try to finish as much as we can. All the best. But before all that, I think mornings should start with tea. So let's go get some tea. I think I figured out I think I have figured out why left-handed writing actually improves the memory. Uh, maybe it is because while writing with the left hand we are not very used to it. So first of all, our right brain focuses a lot. And while doing so, while writing every word we have to make extra efforts. And while the right brain is controlling the left hand in writing, the left brain has nothing else to do. So it just keeps on revising that information and all the things around it. And that's why I think the only drawback the only problem is that it takes a hell lot of time to study in this way so what i did was i used one page writing with the right hand and i'm going to use second page writing with left hand let's get back to study ortho The truth is, you cannot skip certain chapters in your life. Sometimes you have to experience the wrong love in order to learn how to fight for your heart. Sometimes you have to be alone, you have to heal in the quiet so that you do not let the past wounds stop you. Sometimes you have to choose the wrong path, you have to make the mistakes in order to truly connect with the fact that even the missteps, even the rejections were just redirections. Sometimes you have to lose all that you hoped for yourself, all that you thought you wanted in order to unearth all that you truly need. Remember, everything you once considered a failure was really just an opportunity to flourish. Everything you once considered an error was really just an opportunity to expand into the kind of life that you were always meant to be living into the kind of love and the career and happiness that was always meant to be yours <laughs>